So a constant problem that a lot of us obviously have been dealing with lately, uh, especially you live here in California or probably living in other states, but one constant problem I think we've all been noticing is the cable companies that we are subscribed to, basically we are customers, you know, of. It seems that as of late, they have been, a, they've had a tendency, I'll put it this way, they've had a tendency to interrupt services. For what reason, we do not know. You know, sometimes the app, if you're using your phone network to see what's going on, because that's the only internet you have at the time, will tell you that there's an outage, and they expect to have it on between certain time frames. Sometimes, the outages, as they call them, call, you know, come around certain times. They come around times that are sometimes inconvenient. Sometimes they come at around 9, between 9 o'clock and midnight at night, despite the fact that there are still people awake at that time watching television or on the internet, maybe even using the internet to get their job, get their work done before they kind of sign out, clock out from home uh, for the evening. But then there's also the indication that sometimes, um, sometimes, I just, just a computer here a little bit, uh, that sometimes it'll happen during the day, even just briefly. So the question is, what is going on here? You know, what is uh, the issue in all of this? Why are companies like Comcast, Xfinity, AT&T, um, Cablevision, you know, in the Midwest or wherever, uh, Verizon, you know, even to an extent DirecTV and Dish Network and, and all these other outlets, cable outlets and com companies, if you will, like Spectrum and, and such. You know, why are they, why are they doing this? Why are they acting up? You know, is it because there is an outage and it's the only answer they can give because they don't know what's causing it? Or maybe are they just making up the fact that there are outages out there so it's their own little way of saying, hey, come get our new products and you can experience less than this or less of this outage crap. Because if it's the latter, if it's the latter, say, you know, basically there where it's their own way of trying to convince you to buy new equipment to upgrade, then they shouldn't be doing that. That is a practice that could get them in trouble legally. It could legally get them in trouble and basically cause a lot of distress with the customer service. Now, on the other hand, if it is an outage they can't explain, then what they need to do is get in contact with all the major regions that have their services, all the states that have their services, and basically ask all around, hey, do you have any upcoming projects that might interfere with our customers' service of cable, phone, and internet? That's what they need to do. Because if that there, option A, you know, is the real catalyst behind, you know, these outages happening, then what Xfinity needs to do is what a lot of electric, a lot of the, I guess you could say power companies, or like, you know, electric gas companies and all of them have done. I mean, PG&E, despite how you feel about them, advertise the fact that, hey, if you're going to do some, you know, uh, groundwork and it could be near some lines... Call us up and we'll come out for free to mark the areas where you shouldn't dig at so that you don't cause maybe a power outage or you cause a gas leak. And they will do it. And cable companies, in my opinion, should do something like that as well. They should get in contact with all the areas, you know, in all 50 states that have the services and ask them, hey, do you have any upcoming projects, road construction, you know, uh, build, you know, uh, Buildings you're, you know, putting up and all that. Businesses, you know, you're helping to, you know, you know, bring to town and all that. You know, are there any projects that might need, uh, maybe, you know, that might need us to come out and mark certain areas that you don't touch or tamper with because it might just, you know, cause an outage in the area. You know, to me, a lot of cable companies should try that. A lot of cable companies that offer all these services to try that. They should try and go out and make those kind of contacts uh, with people so that this kind of stuff doesn't happen. I mean, think about it. 
you're a student in school right now. It's right now, what, 10.51 a.m. on this Wednesday? You're a, te you're a student or teacher in school. You're on the Internet or you're, on, or you're put on the Internet because that's part of your assignment. And all of a sudden, you start having problems because the provider of the Internet to your school, which could be, let's say, in this area's, uh, this area's uh, juncture, AT&T, Comcast, maybe Spectrum or Frontier, you know, all of a sudden they decide, you know, to act up and you don't know what the reason is. And it's causing you and your teacher, or if you're a teacher, you and your students, to lose a lot of progress or slow down on the uh, assignment you want to try to get done within that hour or two hours. You know, it doesn't help. So if I'm a cable company, you know, that, like I said, provides all these um, outlets for entertainment, you know, online, you know, research, work, gaming, whatever, phone calling. You know, I talk to a lot of the local governments. I talk to the state government, the local governments, and find out, hey, are you going to plan to do some road work? We're hearing that you might be doing some road work here. Or, hey, we're hearing you're building this new AM, PM gas station over here and outlet and all that. Um, are you going to be doing this close to any lines, any cable lines and all that, internet lines and all that, that might cause interference. Because if they do that, then they could take a page out of companies like PG&E or TID or MID or whoever your, you know, your uh, energy gas outlet company is where you live, and they could send people out to mark those areas so that the construction crew or the road crew, whatever the case may be, doesn't you know, touch those by accident, and they can avoid them at all costs. If that's the reasoning for the outages. If the other reason, like I mentioned, you know, moments ago, is the fact that they want to get people to buy the new equipment, then like I said, that could legally get them in trouble because they're messing with people's services instead of just coming out, buying ad time, you know, on television or YouTube or wherever, and coming out and saying, hey, folks, we got this new service here at this so-and-so cable company. We'd love you to be invested in. You, and if you do it for this amount of price, you know, for the next three months, it can be yours. And oh, by the way, wink, wink, it will basically make sure you have no interferences, which, wink, wink, we kind of cause ourselves to get you to buy the stuff. Now, they won't probably do the wink, wink, you know, say that stuff like I mentioned, like I parodied at the end there. But... The point is, they just need to do that. They just need to do that instead of causing an interference. Now, there is another option. There is another, you know, uh, choice, if you will, to look at as a reasoning for these kind of um, outages um, happening and maintenance having to be required because of it. And that is people speeding. Yeah. You see, I live in the Newman, Gustine, Crow's Landing, Patterson region of Stanislaus County, which is connected to Turlock and by extension Modesto. And it's notorious, and Highway 33 at times is notorious for people running down that street or the open streets connected to it, like Stewart Road, Fink Road, whatever, Crow's Landing Road, whatever the case may be. Hills Ferry Road going to Turlock, you get the point. It is notorious for, for people going down those roads, you know, at such a high speed, they could cause accidents. And, you know, sometimes, you know, when they do cause an accident, it could cause several things to happen. You can get a power outage. You could get, you know, you, know, you could get a power outage, is what I'm saying, which could affect your internet and phone and all that. No questions asked. But it could also cause cable outages, because sometimes what these speedsters will do is accidentally probably hit something that's connected to cable outlets, it's like a cable line, and basically cause people to lose their internets because they're not thinking. Several nights ago when this happened, you know, several nights ago when this happened, of course my modem here flashed orange telling me, hey, there's no internet, there's no service right now. According to someone on the Patterson Neighborhood Watch, they said basically that they had heard sirens, moments, sirens, police sirens that is, maybe a ambulance sirens, moments afterwards. Probably indicating, in their opinion, that someone might have crashed into something causing an outage. 
Now, thankfully, the outage, the outage only lasted about maybe an hour and a half, but still, you know, it was, but still, these speedsters, mostly young people, and I say that with all due respect, no offense, they need to slow down. They need to, you know, slow down. They need people to talk to them and say, look, I know you're happy to be having your own license, or I know you probably drank a little bit or had a little bit of the woo-woo in, you know, absor um, inhaled into you, but you need to slow down. This ain't a race. This ain't a race and all that because you're going to cause accidents. And sometimes accidents, like what they would do, would cause outages, whether it's power or cable. But whatever the situation is, whether it's option A, which could be the more likely, you know, road construction, building construction, and all that, you know, they need to get in contact, like I said, with the local, state and gov local and state governments, figure out what's going on around that area, around the state, so that they can come out or send people out to mark certain area, those certain areas around the construction areas or the road worked areas so that they don't get touched upon. Or, if it is them, and this being option B, you know, the cable company just doing this to mess with you so you go out and get the new service, then they need to realize that what they're doing is illegal and they need to stop and they need to do it the right way by buying ad space on television or YouTube or wherever and basically telling people, hey, we got this new equipment, we would like you to come out and try it and upgrade to it. Or, if it's option C, it's option C, then that's kind of out of our hands. Because either the power will go out because of a crash, or the power or cable will go out because of a crash, and you know everybody knows that something like that needs to be dealt with on a daily basis. Send police cars out, send sheriff cars out, whatever the SWAT team cars out if you have to, to patrol the you know the open highways and all that to make sure people at a certain time at night, especially during the weekends, don't pull that crap. You know, so that way you know, nothing happens. You know, nothing happens. Period. But the thing I'm getting at is, like I said, this morning we dealt with that. Even very briefly. Why it happened, we don't know. Um, I could assume it's because we have road construction going on over on Highway 33 here. And we have some road construction going on throughout the different streets. Street construction, I guess you could say, here in Newman. And we also do have an AMPM being built. So we can assume maybe somebody accidentally hit something by mistake. Or option B is they're just tampering with it to kind of get our attention of, hey, go pay, you know, either go pay your bill, which, we, which I do, you know, mostly, or try to do, or get our new service. And they need not to do that. But in this case, I will probably go with option B. I mean, not option B, but option A, and maybe slightly option B. Kind of a combination of the two. I'll assume that somebody might have hit something by accident, you know, here, you know, on one of the streets here in Newman, either working on the highway, working on the A and PM, working on one of the streets. I don't know. But I'm assuming, but I'm going to assume part of that's the reason, but I'm also going to assume that there's a slight good chance they may have done this just to be like, hey, get our new equipment kind of deal. Or, hey, reminder, pay the bill. You know, so I don't know. But in my opinion, cable companies like AT&T, Comcast Xfinity, uh, Frontier, Spectrum, Cablevision, even to an extent DirecTV and Dish Network, they need to knock this off. They need to get control of the situation no matter what of the three options or what, what of the three situations I pointed out could be the reasonings. They need to get control of them so that this kind of stuff doesn't happen again and it happens less. But I just wanted to come on here and give you my thoughts on that, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below and in the live chat during the premiere. Like the video. Super chat, super stickers are open during the live chat as well as super thanks afterwards. Also, check me out at patreon.com slash bwroses at the $1, $3 tier at bwroses discussions and all your favorite audio podcast locations except for Pandora. Also, check me out at Vimo at bwroses for content you can't get anywhere else. And you can check me out at Venmo at Brian Warmer 2 and at Cash App at BWRoses98. But guys, again, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Let me know if you've experienced this kind of stuff before. Comment below in the comment section as well as in the live chat during the premiere. And until later, I'll talk to you, you know, later on. Peace. <laughs>